What's up, badass nerds? Pumpkin spice is twice as nice. So, it's autumn now, and what is autumn? It's pumpkin spice season for like the next three months until it's peppermint season, which is, you know, Christmas time y stuff, December. Since we can't go anywhere, do anything, I've been ordering like groceries from Whole Foods on Amazon, which is very convenient, and thank you because I'm. Who am I thanking? I'm very distracted by something, and I, I, oh god, I'm so caffeinated too, and I look crazy, like, ugh, so, uh, Whole Foods on Amazon, they like do free delivery if you spend over $35 or something, and even if you don't, it's only like $5 delivery, so, I found the oddest, uh, pumpkin spice things at Whole Foods, and I'm gonna taste them and rank them for your viewing pleasure. So, I mean, some of them are pretty odd to me. Maybe they're not to everybody else. I don't know. Like, they put pumpkin spice in some weird stuff. I know I did a pumpkin spice video before where I even tried dog treats. Oh, bland. With my ex-friend, Kayla, because everybody leaves me. But this is uh, specifically Whole Foods stuff. So, some of it's like pretend healthy garbage, you know? And then I'm gonna rank them. I think I already said that. So, it is the weekend. Sunday night to be exact. It was a demon. So, the weekend is like kind of when I let myself eat somewhat bad foods because I'm like on a health kick right now. I'm trying really hard. Don't fucking judge me. That's how I justify, like, trying this stuff right now. I messed up my makeup some by opening stuff with my teeth, like I always do. So I'm probably gonna go from, like, least weird to weirdest, maybe? I don't know. I just want to get this one out of the way because it's so heavy and I can barely, like, lift it up. It's pumpkin spice applesauce, which, oh god, I'm so weak. Which probably kind of makes sense, I guess. They're both like fall vegetables, um, pumpkins and apples. Except pumpkin spice doesn't mean there's pumpkin in it. Actually, there is pumpkin in this. A lot of stuff that's pumpkin spice doesn't have pumpkin in it because it's just pumpkin pie spice. Doesn't mean that it's pumpkin pie flavored. You know what I mean? smells overwhelmingly like apples and cinnamon, so that can't be bad. Let's dig in. That is so weird. That is like the weirdest applesauce I've ever tasted. It's got carrot juice in it for some reason. Pumpkin puree, lemon juice, so the only sugars are from the fruits themselves it's like baby food it's the only way i can describe it is baby food it's like not sweet enough i don't know like it's not very good it tastes like mashed up apples and vegetables no bueno no bueno no thank you. No thank you. That's what um, my best friend and her family used to say. So like their kids were, well in her case it was like her nieces and nephews. When they were doing something wrong instead of just saying no because they didn't want to teach them like the word no, they'd be like, no thank you. No thank you. The next thing is not very well it's kind of weird to me noosa my dad eats this kind of yogurt all the time uh pumpkin yogurt there's cream cheese in this that's so odd is it not and it doesn't even look like there's pumpkin pie spices oh at the very end it just is spices there's gelatin in this 
Bitch, where? I'm a vegetarian, and gelatin is like gloobity globbity animal cow and horse parts. They're just like gelatinous. I don't know how they make it gelatinous, but. I'm wondering if it's in the yogurt or in the pumpkin part. Says, you deserve this. You deserve it, bitch. It smells overwhelmingly like yogurt, but that's that's obviously. Shut up. The pumpkin's all like in the bottom, and it looks like pumpkin pie, but like way more watery. Because there's a bunch of actual pumpkin in this. The weird thing is that like pumpkin pie is not actually made out of pumpkin most for the most part. Like the pumpkin pie that everyone knows and loves. Josh from the Mythical Kitchen channel, he explains it on like a good mythical more episode. I can't like I can't exactly remember everything he said. And pumpkin's like a blanket statement. I mix it all up. It's actually not bad at all. It's actually really good. I don't eat that much dairy anymore besides cheese because I love cheese. But this is actually really good and I hate that it's good because there's gelatin in it. It says kosher gelatin but that's like... That just means it's like from the front part of the cat, right? Why does it have to be so delicious? I like want to eat the whole thing. I'm very upset about it. I didn't eat dinner. I, don't, I can taste the cream cheese in it for sure. That's why it's so good. Duh, it's absolutely delicious. It does not taste like pumpkin spice whatsoever. There's like so little spice in there because it's like the very last ingredient. It like tastes like yogurt and cream cheese with like this, it's not even like a fruity note because pumpkins are like vegetables, right? I do recommend it. Nusa is like a really good yogurt as it is. I know my dad like raves about it. I hate that it's good, but it's so good. Next. Okay, I don't really know if this is like super weird, but this is a perfect protein bar, uh, pumpkin pie flavored. And this is a protein bar that I did not know when I first got it. I figured it out earlier today that it's supposed to be like kept in the fridge the original refrigerated protein bar like that about it is weird it was fucked to me it says like enjoy one week on the go so it should be fine it's fine it's fine it's fine Ooh, baby it smells like peanut butter in the best fucking way Ugh, but the look of it is not pretty. It's like shiny and it looks like, I don't know, kind of like a dookie log. Bathroom humor. Definitely looks like there's a good amount of spices in there. So it looks- huh, What is that? I don't even know how to describe what's happening like in the back of my throat. It looks really moist, but it's really dry on the inside. It tastes like somewhat dehydrated peanut butter with like an aftertaste. There's a lot more in here than peanut butter, but it, the first ingredient is peanut butter, so it's like a peanut butter log. Which is fucking delicious. I think there is actual pumpkin in this one too. I'm starting to get like a taste of something, but it's not like overwhelming, and it's not immediately recognizable as pumpkin spice. If you gave it to somebody, they'd just tell you it was like a peanut butter bar, because that's what it tastes like. It does not taste like pumpkin pie, which I've only had once, but that's neither here nor there. It's good because it's peanut butter. But it does have a strange taste at the back end of it. 
like very cinnamony. I don't even know. It's like a dry taste. That's not even like a thing. Oh god, next. Okay, this is dark chocolate and pumpkin spice crispy quinoa. Lightly covered with dark premium chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate! There's definitely no pumpkin in this, which probably was obvious from the jump. Because these are like very dry snacks. Ooh, they're cute. I don't know. I thought they were just going to be like shards, but they're a little like round cookie looking things. They just smell like chocolate. Hmm. Ah! What is that? There's like this bitterness. It's like really good at first, and then this bitterness hits you. There's no way that this dark chocolate is that bitter. There's something going on here. I don't know. I keep wanting to eat it because the texture is so good. It's crunchy and crispy. It's just, it's like a crunch bar with way, 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 way less sweet. And much crunchier. You can taste the salt, which is really good because you just get like chocolate and then like a little bit of salt. But I don't think it tastes like pumpkin spice. I don't think any of this stuff has tasted like pumpkin spice. Maybe it's just me. And I keep wanting to eat it, like because you get over the bitterness a little bit. Now these pumpkin spice cheesecake sandwich cookies are what prompted me to want to make this video because it sounded really interesting. No matter where you stand in the pumpkin spice debate, you can't argue with real cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and crispy, perfectly sweet pumpkin cookies stuck together with rich cheesecake frosting. Ooh. The only question left is how many boxes you should hide for safekeeping. Oh, look, none, bitch. Two cookies is 150 calories. That's insane. Now, Whole Foods had a lot of beverages that are pumpkin spice, coffee flavored pumpkin spice beverages. That was just like too, way too basic dish to get. And there was a strange thing that I didn't get. It was like a yogurt alternative, so I think it was made with almond milk, I'm not sure. But it's smaller than the Nusa and it costed like $5 and the Nusa was $1.85. So, I don't give a shit if you're vegan. I mean, yeah. Well, oh, that fell. I'll get it later, mom. I like expected to see like the little holes in it that, I guess that's crackers though. There are definitely cookies like that, right? I'm gonna look it up and if I find them, I'll put a picture. I'm gonna take a, a whole bite first and then maybe I'll break it open and taste the frosting separately. Just so wanna look at the ingredients here. A lot of bullshit, a lot of bullshit. Pumpkin seed powder, mmm, I love pumpkin seeds. I love pepitos. Yogurt powder, no, it's definitely got nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, pumpkin seeds. I don't see pumpkin. Cream cheese powder. They powdered a lot of shit to put this together. Hmm. Now that is pumpkin spice. That is a 100% pumpkin spice cookie. For sure. And I hate how delicious it is. There's all the frost in there. Just tasty. I'm trying to taste like the cheesecake flavor of the the middle. It's very granular and like greasy. It's delicious, obviously, because it's all freaking cream cheese and sugar and yogurt powder. That's good. I have one more thing, but I think that's definitely my number one. Oh. 
I hate how good it is. I'm gonna have to give these away. Cause I gotta get them away from me. They're way too good. Next. Well, this is the just packaging. Cause the things came out. Pumpkin spice. Organic French pudding. I don't know what French pudding is, but I'm very curious to find out. Whole milk, heavy cream, cane sugar, sugared egg yolks, pumpkin puree. Oh, it's actually got pumpkin in it. Rice starch, pectin, and spices. At least this uses pectin instead of fucking gel in Nusa. Bitch. This looks unbelievably rich. It smells cold. And like there's a very, very slight scent of like dairy in general. I doubt this is gonna beat out the cookies. I don't know, for some, it weirds me out a little for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's, it's supposed to be pudding, but it's very, like, watery. That is so pumpkin spice. That is unbelievably pumpkin spicy. Because there's no other flavors to combat the pumpkin spice. It's like eating pumpkin pie if it was just pudding iced and much much creamier. I don't know why I'm still eating it. I don't even like it that much. I think I'm just really hungry. It's so rich though like I think these were pretty expensive too and only came with two of them. Seems like something like hoity toity people would buy. It almost is like the texture and loopity gloppiness that I would assume like a creme brulee has. I don't know. I don't know why I'm still eating it. That Now it's starting to gross me out. I don't know why it took so long. That's... Ugh. I don't know. Like, I don't know why I took so many bites. It's so weird. It's so weird. Because I really don't like pumpkin pie. And like pumpkin. Why did it take so long to gross me out? Now it's like really grossing me out. Because my mouth tastes like it so much. And it's like filmy almost and greasy. I don't even know how to describe it. It still tastes bad though. Again, it's just straight pumpkin spice because there's nothing else to combat it. So it's it's just like eating a pumpkin pie pudding. If I was rating these on how much it tasted like pumpkin spice, this would definitely win and then the cookies would be a second, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to tell you like, what's the best? I'm gonna go from the bottom. So from the bottom, now we hear So from the bottom, Starting from like the worst. Honestly, I think it's the pudding. Cause it, it, I don't know why it took like five bites to gross me out. But it, I'm like disgusted with it now. It's like a custard. I don't even, I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. It's weird and gross and I can't, I can't with that. The, uh, second worst, I guess you'd say, is the applesauce because it's just like mashed up. I mean, I like applesauce as it is because apples are sweet, it's delicious, whatever. Add pumpkin to it and it just tastes like weird vegetable gloop. 
and then there's carrot juice for some f***ing reason. I don't know. I just... It's so bland as well. It's not good. Number four would probably be the protein bar. Just because it's like... I don't know. It's just kind of like a peanut butter bar. Which I like peanut butter, but... It has like a dryness to it, and it has a strange aftertaste even though it's very subtle. I just, I'm not a big fan. Number three is gonna be the quinoa things. I don't know why it has a bitterness, but I keep and kept going back to it. The saltiness is so good. It's got that bitterness, which I actually kind of like now. Now that I know what to expect, I don't know, it's like addicting. The crunch, it's so deliciously crunchy. Number two is the yogurt, which really grinds my gears because there's gelatin in it and I hate the fact that I like it because like, I really want to eat the whole thing now. I think we all knew number one was going to be the cookies because they're just really good, and they definitely have the pumpkin spice going. And I don't like it's like the cookies. What? <laughs> They're deliciously sugary, delicious cookies. What? What do you want me to say? Let me know, like in the comments, if you've ever tried French pudding, and if like I'm just being a baby about it, and it, you think it's good. Let me know what your favorite pumpkin spice favorite thing is that you found. Like the video if you like pumpkin spice. So all my basic bitches out there liking my video. Subscribe if you're not already. If you are subscribed, hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a video. Everybody enjoy the rest of pumpkin spice season. In other words, autumn, if you will. Uh, keep being badass, keep being nerdy. Much love and peace out, y'all.